Hey everyone, Boone here from premiumbeat.com. Today I'm going to show you how you can place text behind objects in your frame inside of Adobe Premiere Pro to achieve something that looks like this. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so here's the shot I'm working with in this particular tutorial. I have a guy walking up through the sand dunes here. And now what I want to do is I want to add some text to this scene. And I want to add it up here and make it look like it's kind of off on the horizon but behind the sand dunes to make it a little bit more dynamic, make it look like it's really in the scene. Okay, so now how am I going to place text behind an object here? Well, I just have this one clip. Now I need to essentially make a composite here. First, I need to duplicate this clip. So to duplicate this, the easiest way is to just hold the Alt key and then click and drag up. Now we have the two clips. But to make this work, I need to move this duplicate or top layer up and leave a gap. I need to leave an empty track here because this is where I'm going to be placing my text. So essentially I'm creating a composite that's going to consist of three different layers. I have my top layer here, which I'm going to isolate uh, just the sand dunes here. I'm going to cut out that sky. And I'm going to have my text revealed on the next layer. And then on the bottom layer is going to be this original clip. Okay, so now that I've got the duplicate for my next step, I need to mask out that sky. So I'm going to mask it out on the top layer here. And to do this, you'll notice there's a couple of mask tools under opacity here. And I want to grab this free draw Bezier tool here. I'm going to click that. And now I'm going to start to draw my mask here. And you'll notice that my zoom here is set to fit, so it's it can be a little bit clunky. So a good way to work with the mask is to go to full screen. You can use the shortcut key tilde or the accent grav key, and now that's going to bring us to full screen. And it still might be a little bit clunky. So what I like to do is zoom up in between 200 to 400 percent. And now I can really zoom in and see my horizon here. And once I get my mask drawn on the horizon, I like to go back and zoom out just a little bit more because I'm going to be bringing this mask out to here. So our mask is essentially going to come out here and then really tightly follow the lines of our horizon. So now let me go ahead and begin to draw the mask here. So as I draw the mask, as I add a point, I just hold and drag and that gives me the Bezier curves. Now I'm going to quickly draw this here make some slight adjustments as I go along. Okay, now I can zoom back out to 50% here and then quickly go around here. Okay, and now we have this mask drawn. And the reason we're not seeing our background here, well, we have two layers, so it's gonna show us that background layer. To isolate this and look at our edge, we can actually go here and we can see now that we have that sky masked out. Now this example in this tutorial is quite a simple one. I'm adding a, a mask on something that isn't moving, but you can mask out things that are moving if you simply add the mask first and then use these tracking tools here. You can adjust the settings and then track your mask path to have something in motion. Like I could actually put this behind the, a person that's moving through the scene. Okay, next up, let's add our text. To add text, I'm just going to grab the type tool and then select over here, and then I'm going to type in the word Colorado. And now to format this text, we're going to use the Essential Graphics panel, which I'll go right over to here. If you can't see it, go to Window and choose Essential Graphics. Now let me resize this a little. Okay, so I have my text here, and I'm just going to kind of reformat it, bring up the size here, and you grab my tool. I kind of want to put it right over in here. I'll adjust the positioning. And now everything is good to go. And now again, I said I want this text layer to go between this, these two layers to make the composite work. So let me drag this over here. And then now let's watch here. As I drag this layer down, now we see our effect taking place here. The mask is working. Okay, so my composite is nearly finished. Everything's in place. Now I just need to do some fine tuning. And to do that, I can kind of zoom in here and once again, isolate that edge and really look at how my edge is doing. You can see here that there's parts of this mask that are just not holding up. And I'm gonna to need to go through and fine tune this. And it's looking like there's a bit of a feather applied to this mask. So let me go over to my mask settings by selecting my layer 
going to effect controls and looking here yeah our mask feather is set to 10 for some reason so I'm gonna change that down to maybe 2 okay that's looking a bit better now I can go through and kinda of look and I can grab the mask by selecting the mask here and now I can kind of fine-tune by adjusting these position points here there we go it's looking a little bit better Again, just select your mask I can zoom in even a bit further and now you can grab these points here and there's these bezier handles and you can control them like this by selecting one or you can hold the alt key and position them independently of one another so I can keep adjusting these position points until I get my mask exactly where I want it to be if I want to take these adjustments a step further I can grab the text layer here and apply some keyframes maybe create an animation have it animate up and reveal from behind the sand dunes so there's a variety of different options we can we can play with now that we have our composite in place very cool I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Be sure to check out Premium Beat for high quality, royalty free music and sound effects for all of your media and video projects.